And we got to always remember this big piece about the brain. And I know I touched on this just a tiny bit, but the brain is a receiver and transmitter that absolutely puts and takes vibration. So be real careful about how you make your move in what you're receiving and what you're putting out there. That thought vibration that comes from and comes to the brain is the big piece. That thought and how you put it out and how you receive it. And the brain is the big receiver and the big transmitter. Touched on this, the, the, how thoughts are things. And this is in the whole uh, vibrational uh, piece of the way the brain makes it work. And when you're sending out and when you're taking it. But when you're sitting out, this is your thoughts are things. And you put that out to make it real, to bring your reality into place. And, and never forget the big piece, that success builds confidence. You know, um, I started out my career in learning in network marketing. And uh, George and Ruth Halsey were African-American, big, big network marketers. And he used to always say, now I want you to really listen to this say that inch by inch it's a cinch so step by step small successes will build your confidence and lead you to big successes and I'm going to tell you when you hear my story and I don't have time to do that today that's exactly all it was it was a small newspaper sales boy that turned into you know a big you know hundred thousand dollar deals from selling newspapers making 50 cents a paper thoughts attract that which it is directed. And just so that to, to put that in, you know, a real easy, simple way to understand it and see it is that you put your thoughts and your best thoughts where you want them to be to make them produce the exact reality that you want. And remember, this is 99% mental. And you've heard many of the athletes throughout the ages my mental game was on. I was there. You talk to Michael Jordan. You talk to all those cast that was my, uh, Magic Johnson. All of those guys. Baseball. They say it's mental. And it is mental. So I want you to make sure that you start to straighten out your mental game. Because the mental piece is the big piece. 99% of all your successes are going to be mental. And they are mental. And just a couple of in individuals that I want you to make sure you key in on. Just an example of our people and our power. I mean, and I can go, this is just a, a list that will just go on and on and on. But just a few key people from, from way back. One, A.G. Gaskin. Uh, this, this, this brother was extremely powerful. He was in a, to a, a lot of the game that I'm into. You know, he was in insurance, hotels, real estate. I'm in, I do a lot of real estate. When he passed, and, and look, he's from the, eight, from the 1900s. And when he passed, his estate was worth half a billion dollars. He just passed in 1996. And his book was Green Power. Please, if you get an opportunity, seek that book out. It's definitely out of print, but you'll be able to find it on some of these websites. Reginald Lewis, he wrote the book, Watch It All the White Guys Have All the Fun. This is the guy that was cornering the market with a lot of the food companies. Beatrice, Kraft, I mean, he just went crazy. He had an aneurysm and passed, uh, I believe, right before... or 1998, something like that. But anyway, these are key figures that was dealing with markets that you never hear about. Here's another one. Madam C.J. Walker. I see you guys out there. You know you know her. She was the first Bonner, okay? She was the first hair care product lady. I mean, talking about way, 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 way back. And these, these are key people that just shows an example of who we are and who we can dig down into and stop realize again with 99% mental and keep this in mind this has absolutely nothing to do with your Ivy League background your high level education if you did undergraduate graduate PhD this is not that this is not I mean you want to have all those things are okay I'm not knocking it it's good for a foundation but that is not what moves the subconscious mind what moves the subconscious mind that's what we talked about in the very beginning. 
thought starts this whole thing, getting the thoughts on your subconscious mind and make you move. And, and when we talk about people that have moved, you know, across the world, some of these people don't, they didn't even have a, but a basic education. And I, and I do emphasize, but a basic education. So don't get hung up, especially the older folk that I see out there, about your education. The young people get basics and then let's rock and roll. You have Ford that had, that he turned the, 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 the country upside down. I mean, there's so much information about what this man's brain was doing. But look, basic education. I don't believe that he made it to high school. Uh, when you're talking about uh, some of the financial powerhouses out there, basic information. Carnegie is one of the guys that's, that started and just went crazy fast. And just like A.G. Gaskin, we mentioned earlier, born in, 19, in 1892, born on a plantation, uh, result of a sharecropper, and he just, and I just told you, he finished out with a estate worth over half a billion dollars. Look, we can do this, y'all. We can do it. And do not become one of those people that become caught up in the state of the economy, the state of the world economy, what China's doing, what Brazil's doing, what the emerging markets are doing, what Obama's doing, whomever's in the office. Look, we can put this thing together where we can circulate our funds. We talked about this earlier. Circulate our funds in our own communities and make sure that we are the chemistry that makes or break our economy for our own funds. And this is this is my biggest point that I don't want anybody to be to, to uh, become a person that is all absorbed in the state of the economy, the state of the world economy, the U.S. economy, what goes on in Brazil, China, Japan, nuclear reactors. None of that stuff matters if we stay focused on the mental and what we want to do and what we want to have. We can be the controllers of our own economy. We talked about earlier making our funds rotate in our community seven, eight, nine times. And if we do that, when we do that, we're going to talk the affirmative. When we do that, we won't care. It won't matter what's going on on the outside. We self-contain. It's our world, and we build it. And, you know, I'm often asked while I'm coming to my people, my people, when I'm bringing this kind of information, what's behind it? Let me tell you what's behind it. What's behind it is that we must and we are bringing each other into the fold of an economic powerhouse. And all I ask of you, every single time, all I ask of you is to make sure you share this information on a constant level and make it broad and bring everybody that's willing in to the economic base that we're bringing. And we have to come out of this crab in a barrel mentality and make sure that we consistently lift each other up. I often think about the poster that I see with the, the brother putting his hand over the over the wall to lift up another brother and, and, and another sister. So let's, let's always maintain the spirit of harmony with each other in order to lift, our, lift our, ourselves completely up with the resources, with the funds, with the institutions that we're going to build and we're going to make sure that we bring everybody into take that up to the highest level. So as we start to, start to draw this down to a close, I definitely want you to just keep in mind that some of you out there are going to get this right away. And it's just going to hit you and you're just going to run with it. You're going to soak it up and just get as much information thirsty for it. And there's going to be some of, us, some of you, just like me, I was going to say some of us, that's going to take a little bit longer. It took me a year or so before I even came around. And I understand some of you is going to take two, three, four, five years. And that's all right, too. I'm hoping that today you can see there's a track to get on. Get on that track, whatever length of time it takes, because we have to recondition ourselves. We have to repurpose our minds to be on what we've talked about for the last 45, 50 minutes. So it's okay that this is something that seems odd and strange to you, but embrace 
what you can see and what you can feel. You know, like I said, it's going to be about 10% of you out in the audience that's just absolutely going to just run with this thing and just take it and get it. And I'm going to hear from you without me even putting out my information. But get it. <laughs> get it into your children. Get it into your cousins. Get it into the neighborhood kid that you think is not worth even talking to. We all have to become responsible for our people. To say you know and cannot do simply means you really don't know. Simply what I'm saying, brothers and sisters, is the only true science, the only true science is applied science. So we're not talking about theory. We're not talking about beliefs. We're not going to get you in, in, none of that's going to get in the way. I just want you to understand it's the applied. It's to do, it's the result. It's the guy at the end of the day that has all the chips. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about result-oriented, applied information. Getting it done. So as a collective, bringing all our chips together, being result-oriented, we become the self-sufficient. We become the ones that do. We become... We become the winners. We become the ones that we already know who we are. We end it that way. We are the best. Man, know thyself. An axiom of Kemet, also known as ancient Egypt, land of the blacks. Make this science part of your daily practice. Incorporation leads to application. Stay tuned for upcoming KSP functions, events, and lectures. As always, peace, power, and prosperity, and thank you for listening.